What's going on guys, the CTA Prime back here again. Today I am back with the Raspberry Pi 4 running Laka and I want to check out some emulation performance. Well, some updated emulation performance. But before we get started, I do want to get this out of the way. It's still very early in the Raspberry Pi 4's life cycle. This is an early build of Laka. It's really not publicly available yet on their website, but you can grab it from the nightly section. I do plan on making an installation tutorial because a lot of the lower end stuff is working really well now. So in this video, I'm going to be testing out some lower end stuff like SNES, Mega Drive, Game Boy Advance. Then we'll move up to some higher end stuff like N64, Dreamcast, PSP, Naomi, and even Sega Saturn. I am running an overclock on the Raspberry Pi 4 I have here. This is a 4 gigabyte model. I'm overclocked on the CPU to 1.75 gigahertz and the GPU 650 megahertz. I would like to get an installation tutorial out of the way, so if you guys are interested, just let me know in the comments below and I can make one up. Like I mentioned, a lot of the lower end stuff is working really well, so first up, we're going to be testing out a couple SNES games. I will have the FPS listed in the top right hand corner along with the system name. By the way, I am using an Xbox One controller connected over USB. Wi-Fi is working in this build, but I personally couldn't get Bluetooth to connect. I'm using the basic SNES 9X core for these Super Nintendo games, and even the FX chip games and the FX2 chip games work well. Next up, Sega Genesis, otherwise known as Mega Drive. You shouldn't have any issues on the Raspberry Pi 4 running this Laka build. And I completely understand that these run at full speed on the Raspberry Pi 2, the Raspberry Pi 3, and the 3B+. But since the Raspberry Pi 4 is so new, I just wanted to make sure we were getting good emulation with these also. Even in earlier builds of Laka for the Raspberry Pi 4, we were getting really good performance with PlayStation 1 using the PC SX Rearm Core. Just kind of wanted to throw this in here because I know a lot of people are going to be playing PlayStation 1 on their Pi 4. On to some higher end stuff. This is Dreamcast using the Flycast core. Definitely needs some work. We're only at around 44 FPS when this should be running at 60. I got a good feeling that the Raspberry Pi 4 will run these games at full speed as soon as the developers can figure some of the issues out.
Naomi and Atomus Wave games are going to be slow right now. This is still the Flycast core. Uh, Flycast used to be Raidcast, but it was renamed inside of Retroarch, so it's pretty much the same exact core here. We do have Naomi and Atomus Wave compatibility, but definitely need some work on the Pi 4. So here's PSP. I'm using the PPSSPP core, and personally, I like the standalone version a lot better, but it's not going to be available inside of Lockup. Hopefully, when the official Retro Pi build for the Raspberry Pi 4 comes out, they will have the standalone, because I think it'll work a little better than it is here. Here's some N64 emulation. This is a big one. Everybody's been asking about N64 on the Raspberry Pi 4. I'm using the Mupin 64 Plus Next Core. I tried Parallel, but I couldn't get it to boot up with some of the games that I had, so I just stuck with this one. I've definitely been keeping an eye on the N64 progress for the Raspberry Pi 4, so as soon as something better is available, I will make a dedicated video. I've said this in a previous video, but I personally don't think we'll ever get full speed Sega Saturn emulation on the Raspberry Pi 4 for every game. There will be some 2D games that are going to work fine, but most of the 3D stuff will still be slow. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. I wanted to make this quick showcase video because I've had a lot of people asking me about the progress of emulation on the Raspberry Pi 4. And as you can see, it's getting better, but it still needs some work. It's really early in the Raspberry Pi 4's life cycle, and it will get better over time. I got a good feeling we're going to get full speed N64 emulation with most games, Dreamcast, Naomi, and Atomus Wave, but I don't ever see Sega Saturn running at full speed, at least with most of the 3D titles. A RetroPie release for the Raspberry Pi 4 is imminent, but you got to keep in mind that RetroPie uses RetroArch cores, and that's exactly what we were just running with Laka. So you're going to see some of this bad performance in the first release of RetroPie, you just got to be patient because over time, this stuff will get better. If there's a big enough interest in it, I will make a dedicated video on installing Laka and setting it up on the Raspberry Pi 4. So if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments below. It'd also be really cool if you could hit that like button, maybe subscribe to the channel. But like always, thanks for watching.